Six video surfacing of an apparent abuse of a handcuffed man in jail. And now a police officer has been arrested. That handcuffed man was left bloody behind bars at the Homestead Police Station. Let's get right to Local 10 News reporter Sonella Sibovic live with our top story. Sonella. Nicole and Louie, that attack was all caught on jail surveillance and it's pretty intense. You can see this inmate already handcuffed, this corrections officer, then puts his hands on his back, shoves him headfirst into a concrete wall. That attack left him injured and he was raced to the hospital right afterwards. It's despicable, it's intolerable. State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle announcing criminal charges against a Homestead Corrections officer. Today, we are charging Homestead Police Officer Lester Brown with felony battery, and a th which is a third degree felony, and official misconduct, which is also a third degree felony. Officer Lester Brown is accused of attacking a handcuffed inmate, and it was all caught on jail surveillance. Last December, Jose Garcia Alvarado was arrested for disorderly intoxication and for resisting arrest without violence. This is video of him getting booked and then this happens. Officer Brown puts his hands on his back and shoves him head first into a concrete wall. Alvarado starts bleeding and is sent to the hospital. Officer Brown's actions were not only improper, but they were crimes. Fernandez Rundle says Brown also lied in his written report, claiming that Alvarado was combative and that he pushed back on Brown. But in this next video clip, it clearly shows Alvarado calmly walking in. There is no struggle. Brown also wrote Alvarado fell forward, hitting his head on the wall. We believe that the video evidence does not support Officer Brown's written account Immediately after that incident, Homestead's police chief, Alexander Roll Jr., was notified and informed the state attorney's office. We're not going to tolerate this kind of behavior before we're not police officers. And Brown has been relieved of duty without pay. He was issued a $10,000 bond earlier in the day, which he did post. That's the latest here from Miami.